back of this label, it says the UK Chief Medical Officer's recommendation is that adults do not drink regularly more than 14 units a week. Uh, he's currently in isolation, so I guess what he don't know won't hurt him really, will it? Good afternoon and welcome to a new episode of A Beer With Bob. Today's episode is titled, If Valentine's Day is for lovers and Mother's Day is for mothers, then who exactly is Palm Sunday for? So today we are going back to Keighley and we are going to taste a true Yorkshire bitter. That's right, we are going to be tasting Timothy Taylor's Bolt Maker. It used to be called Timothy Taylor's Best Bitter, they've renamed it Bolt Maker. Uh, so we are looking for a real Yorkshire flavoured beer here. Traditional bottle, bottle beautiful labelling. If you go back to my landlord review, you notice I was talking about the green label. You look at the blue there in the background there with the bolt maker in the centre there. Uh, it's quite interesting when we look at the back of this label, it says the UK Chief Medical Officer's recommendation is that adults do not drink regularly more than 14 units a week. Uh, he's currently in isolation, so I guess what he don't know won't hurt him really, will it? So this is 4.2%, uh, so I would say it's mid-range, you know, for a bitter, it's going to be quite strong, I think. Uh, so let's open it up. Oh, I love the, the hiss of that cap, gets me every time. So let's pour it in the glass. Handled glass, there's no other type of glass to drink a best bitter from. Glass with a handle or a jug, let's do it. Remember when we're pouring this beer, we need to get a good head in it because a beer with no head is dead. So let's pour it in there. Clean, crystal clear glass, pouring in a beautiful beer. Oh, it's foamy, look at that. Little hints of carbonation there, but not too much. I pour that with quite a head because I quite like it. You know, some of these Yorkshire men are quite tight with their pennies. You might see them say, let's have a narrow head on that. But look, it's a deep amber colour. Ruby amber, you know, I think it's tan, toffee-ish looking when you look at it. The beautiful foamy head. Oh, it's brilliantly clear, clear, crystal clear. So much clarity in that beer. You know, it does say on oh my glass, I love you. More than you love beer, my, my wife got me this for Valentine's. That's cute, isn't it? Oh, to the nose now. It's malty, it's flapjacky. Fruitiness there, all coming from the yeast, the fruit there. Oh, it's a bit like malt loaf. Oh, I love malt loaf. Doreen's having a soaring. Oh, it smells bready and delicious. Maybe a tingling of citrus fruit from the hops, but not an awful lot. I'm getting bags of malt. That's what I'm really getting with this one. Let's swill it around the mouth and give it a good guzzle. Toffee pudding. Not sticky toffee pudding, but a toffee pudding uh, because it, it, it isn't clinging to my mouth. I'm guess getting a, a nice malty toffee, bit of datiness. It's bitter. It's a real true Yorkshire best bitter. <clears throat> Look at that as it settles in the glass there, still clear as a bell. Oh, it is delicious. What a beer this is. You could pick this up from Morrison's, 180 a bottle, four for six quid. Uh, it's a fine, fine beer. It's reminiscent of last of the summer wine 
when I drink this, I think of myself walking the Yorkshire Dales with Compo, Foggy and Clegg. And I suppose if I drank too much of it, I'd be chased by Nora Batty with her rolling pin. This is a fine specimen of a Yorkshire bitter. This is going to be a high ranking beer. It is a 4.7 bob beer. That's right. Timothy Taylor's bolt maker. 4.7 bob beer. Thank you for watching. And until next time, people, stay safe, stay inside and keep drinking. <laughs>